I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today and today I'm going to do another Foundation Friday. Now if you watched my video last week I reviewed the CoverGirl Queen Collection 3-in-1 Foundation and this was like my all-time favorite but then it got so hard to find I had to switch it up and get something else. Which brings me to the Maybelline Fit Me Poreless Matte Foundation. This then became my holy grail go-to foundation and that's what I'll be reviewing today. Now, first of all, this foundation is only $6. I like Target, Walmart, Walgreens, CVS. This one's actually very easy to find and they have a pretty good range of colors. I am 330 in Toffee Caramel and this foundation worked great on my oily skin. The Matte Poreless Foundation is supposed to be for normal to oily skin. It also says it's going to mattify and refine your pores. It's supposed to match natural tones, seamless finish. The rest is in French, so I'm going to stop reading now. So let me go ahead and put this on and we'll see how well it does. So sticking with the matte theme, I'm going to use the Rimmel Stay Mattifying Stay Matte Makeup Primer. Um, I think I like this one so far. Feel free to leave me your favorite primers in the comments below so I could try those out as well. Okay, so I'll be applying this on a beauty blender like always. And I do remember now that the one thing I kind of didn't like about the foundation is that it's just like an open top. There's no pump. You can't squeeze it. It's just literally a jar with an opening. We'll make it work. I'm just going to pour a little bit on there. Ooh, this really does fit my skin tone very nicely. Look at that. I know lately, like the other ones have been looking very like yellow or orangey. I mean, I always end up making work in the end, but this one's going on very nicely. No wonder they call it Fit Me. Get it? Fits my skin tone. I don't think I'm looking more orange on camera, but this is like a perfect match. This is probably the best match out of all the foundations I've done thus far. Okay, so there is the first layer of the foundation. Went on really easy, really nice. Doesn't feel heavy or cakey. And I like that I'm already starting off on a matte canvas. So if I do get oilier, which I know I will throughout the day, I'm starting off with no shine, no glow. Oh, and excuse the messy hair, I'm about to do it in a video, so that video will be for Sunday. So I'll look a little crazy now, but when I come back, I'll be much better. And now for my favorite magic trick where I put on the rest of my face and do my hair. All right, that's a little bit better. I actually came back a little bit earlier than usual because I realized that I also always use the Maybelline Fit Me powder. So this is their matte poreless normal to oily skin powder. I also use 330 Toffee Caramel in this as well. And I've been using this powder in all of my foundation videos so far. So this is my go-to powder. So I'm glad to use it again with its sister, the foundation. Whoo, I am nice and matte. Now I just need my contour and my blush. So this makeup went on at exactly five o'clock. So we're gonna wait a couple hours and see how well it does. But I do wanna mention one thing. If you do buy this, you must be very careful to read the labels. The Fit Me also has a line that is dewy. So there's a dewy version and there's a matte version. Do not accidentally grab the dewy one if you have oily skin. Us oily skin sisters gotta avoid anything that says dewy, glowy. Those are not our friends. We like the word matte and shine free. So just don't buy it on accident or you will be a glowy, sweaty mess. Alrighty, we are back. It is now 11 o'clock PM, meaning I've had on this makeup for six hours. I always want to do these videos earlier to get more hours, but it's getting late and I'm done. <laughs> but I do love the results. I think this is probably one of the better oil controlling foundations that I've reviewed thus far. I'm really surprised that I switched up on it. After using the Fit Me foundation, I did end up switching to the L'Oreal Infallible because this was like the cool new foundation that everybody was talking about that I did end up transitioning to. But now that I've tried this again, I am re-impressed all over again. So at this point, I'm going to blot like I always do. Got my little clean and clear oil absorbing sheets. Here 
is the oil from my skin. Uh, the makeup isn't really on here as much, so it really did just pick up the oil and the makeup is staying on my face, so that's always a good sign. So now let me go over all of the pros and cons. The pros would be that it does have a matte finish. It works really well for oily skin. There are 24 colors of this Fit Me line, six of them being darker than my skin tone, which is cool. It feels really light on my skin. It does not feel cakey, and it's very affordable. These are $5.99 at Target and Walmart. I believe on the actual Maybelline website it said retail value was $7.99, but I'm sure you can find it for a little bit cheaper. And overall, I think out of all the foundation that I've tried so far, this one probably was the best fit for my skin tone. So that was actually very refreshing to see. The only con that I would give this is how it's just like an open bottle. I would prefer either a pump or a squeeze or something, but this could mean that you could accidentally pour too much. Just a personal preference, but that's all I really have to say about it from a negative standpoint. I can't think of anything else. Love it. I am excited to do an overall review of all the foundations I've reviewed thus far and kind of rank them by price, by which ones had the best coverage, which one was the most oily, blah, blah, blah. So that video will be coming soon. Just want to try a couple more foundations before I do that. So make sure you leave me a comment and let me know what you want me to review next. I post new foundation videos every Friday and I post curly hair videos and other fun topics on Sundays at 6 a.m. Make sure you like and subscribe. Follow me on all social media at Ms. Bianca Renee on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. And I hope to see you all next week. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.